Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all my favorite Amazon home decor pieces that I have found for a reasonable price. This video is gonna be kind of simple. I'm just gonna show you all the pieces that I found. All have been within the last year or so and I will include all the links and prices and I'll just show you what they are and how I've styled them throughout my home. Um, not anything is overly designer looking or fancy, maybe with the exception of a couple of things, but everything is really great quality and really versatile in my opinion. So let's get into the video. First up, we have this farmhouse beaded garland by Sivia. It's 58 inches long and it's only $5.99. This is a steal. Um, I have the natural beige color. Um, there's also a regular beige, a black, a gray, a pine, and like a rust, they're calling it a rustic color, which is like a vintage gray and white, like two-tone. It was really pretty. I was actually considering getting that as well. They all have tassels. And this is how I have it styled. I have it draped over and kind of wrapped around my blanket ladder. And you can just see how I have it um, kind of draped over the blanket with a wreath on top. Even though for the most part, everything is neutral here, I think all the different textures kind of give it some visual interest. You have the wood from the beads, the tassels, um, the different kind of wooden ladder and then the blanket is a soft texture and then topped with the wreath. I think it just makes for a really pretty visual. My next item here is this white wooden knot by Rule. I really was pleasantly surprised by this. Look at the movement. I've seen cheaper ones at Hobby Lobby that are look similar to this but have no movement like the two rings are stuck together so this was really surprising um, it's very similar to something Studio McGee would have and I liked that it wasn't from Target um, but it was something similar to to their style because I do like that um, this is the white there's, there's also a natural wood color as well and this was $23.99 I just have it styled on my TV stand. I don't usually show much of this room when I post uh, home decor stuff just because it's kind of a work in progress. It is the playroom, but I do like to have little touches of decor and style where I can, things that my kids won't destroy. Here we have this round wooden riser from Creative Co-op. It also comes in a rectangular shape, but this is the only finish it comes in, but that's fine because this is gorgeous. It looks like you got it from a uh, thrift shop it looks so vintage and expensive and it's 28 76 for the round and 25 for the white and it's about four and a half inches tall this next piece is a doble candle from red barn candle company i have the sage and citrus scent but there's also lavender cedarwood and vanilla latte it is 60 dollars 59.99 to be exact but it is so beautiful there's so much detail in the wood and you can totally use the bowl as a vessel when you're done it looks gorgeous lit and it's soy wax so there's no harmful chemicals and it's about 75 hours of burning time These next items are the Sullivan's Modern Farmhouse Distressed Jugs. I have the white, there's also a multicolor set with cream, gray, and blue, and then a two-tone set with cream and slate. Uh, they're 10 inches, seven and a half inches, and four inches. They have a nice textured bottom with a pebble detail all over, which just makes them look really high-end, and they're $27.99. This next one is a recent find. It's a wood serving board by Chloe and Cotton. It goes in and out of stock, so just keep an eye on that. But it's 16 inches in diameter and very thick, as you can see. It is food safe. It's approximately $49. I think that's what I got it for. And I bought this because I had been on the hunt at Home Goods for a white cutting board with some wood detail, and I could not find one that was big enough. They have a lot of wood tones there and only wood tones, and I thought that might clash with my cabinets, which are like a warm wood. So I thought this went really well, and I'm really happy with it. So like I said, $49, so almost $50, maybe a little bit on the pricier side, depending on what your budget is, but also really worth it in my opinion because I know I'm going to use this one.
what is a home decor video without faux stems, am I right? <laughs> so these are the Fenardi 15 piece artificial eucalyptus stems. They're $10.99, which I think is a great price for 15 pieces. They're 18 inches long, very, very realistic. They're like a rubbery texture, which makes them look more real in my opinion. The only thing is they kind of have like a dusty film on them, which helps them look real. So don't mess around with them a lot. If you're gonna change them from vessel to vessel or you know whatnot, then just make sure you clean up afterwards. You might have to do a little quick vacuum or wipe down of the surface you're on. These next items I did not have high hopes for, but I was pleasantly surprised. These are the MCS Industries Studio Gallery Frames. They're $76.23 for two. These are the 24 by 36 inch in the natural wood frame. It does have a like a plastic cover on the front so when you put the art behind it there is a little bit of a glare but not too bad but overall very happy and pleasantly surprised this tray is another beautiful piece it's the jolly caper ottoman tray in white with the gold handles there's also a black with silver handled one it is $33.99 um, it's not huge it's 16 by 12 but it's very pretty it's exactly what I wanted for this space it holds just enough decor as a little accent piece on the coffee table don't mind the wick of the candle my kids were picking at the wick of the candle and I guess some got in the tray and I did not notice it but Overall, really pretty detail, and I do have gold accents in my living room, so this is just the perfect piece. I obviously got these after I shot the tray portion of the video because I swapped my other candlesticks out, but these are the Zuyu Matte Black Candlestick Holders. It comes in a set of three. They're 9.45 inches, 11.4 inches, and 13.28 inches in height. They're $15.99 for three, which I think is a great price, and I think they're just really sleek and modern and just look really expensive. Next we have another little riser. This is the wood pedestal stand riser. I have the classic color. There's also a black and a retro wood color. It's $17.99 and it's on the smaller side but it's very cute and versatile. I have a little faux plant on top and then just a container with some cotton pads next to it in my bathroom. My bathroom's not updated but I feel like if you play off the colors with some decor that goes, you can really still make it feel designed and homey. There's another way you could style it as well. I just have some soaps and a candle on there just to give you another idea. Now this is just like the simplest thing ever. I actually got it for the napkins in my bathroom which is what it's meant for but it was kind of too big for them. So I, this is where I actually do have my soaps and candles styled in the bathroom. So it's just a small tray. This one's actually not available anymore, the specific one, but there's a ton out there. So I will link a similar one. It's about $12 or $13. And I just kind of have everything grounded on there as far as my soap and candle and uh, a lotion as well. Last but not least, we have the Smith Farm Company wooden bath shelf for over the toilet. It's $42.99 and it does support 50 pounds, which I found surprising. It does have a chicken wire detail on one of the back of the shelves. It also has a wooden rope to hang it on the wall with. And it does come with that little black hook, which is nice. You don't have to find a decorative hook to hang it. I kind of want to DIY this and take the rope and chicken wire off and just hang it on the wall, maybe with anchors or whatnot. I don't know, don't know how we would do that exactly, but just kind of play with it and figure it out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I find all of my Amazon home decor pieces through videos and posts like this. I think it's really helpful to know what kind of quality you're getting via suggestions and whatnot because you can get a lot of duds on Amazon that look real high quality in the pictures, but when you get them, it's totally off base from what you saw online. So if you like 
videos like this or you like suggestion videos, please give this a thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe as well and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.